Welcome everyone to our online Bhakti Cloud session, which is um, the first one for our online student retreat entitled Perspectives. And I want to shout out to Jake, who we're meeting for the first time from the UK, a friend of Sharadia. Thank you so much for being part of it, being with us. Um, and I can see Jul uh, Julian, <laughs> another Julian, Julian. Uh, I can see Julian Wen somewhere there. I can see the dreadlocks. It must be him. <laughs> Hi, Sky. All right, so welcome, everyone. Uh, this session is very free, informal, and it's just for us to get a creative outlet during the lockdown. <laughs> Who's been feeling caged creatively? Or have you just been splashing out and writing and using the time to do art, like I've seen some people do? You can also respond in the chat, you know? Um, what we're going to do in this session is we're going to give people a chance to um, express their perspective. Of course, the title of this retreat is uh, Perspectives Through Bhakti, you know, so Perspectives Through the Eyes of Bhakti. And it wouldn't be the same if we didn't start it with our good old when, when I say Bhakti, you say cloud, Bhakti. No. Cloud. <laughs> Great. <laughs> High five. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to hand over to my partner in crime, Jaga, and he's going to roll. Hi, Krishna, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. So, um, I was just thrown into the deep water a couple of days ago by Rukmini, who just asked me to put together uh, and connect to artists who have been in contact with Bhakti Yoga before and ask them to share or express their, their, their art through, through bhakti. So uh, as many of you have uh, noted when, when, when I got in contact with you, was I just asked whatever material that you have, whether it's old, new, fresh, um, whatever material that you have worked with before, could you kind of present it here um, for the benefit of everyone, just in the mood of sharing, in the mood of caring and um, as a way of, 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 like Rukmini said, expressing our perspective of bhakti through your art. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're just going to ask each artist to, to, um, to if your camera's on, I'm going to turn on your, your microphone, depending on your presentation. Um, so as you, as you, as you will give you the platform, and as you speak, as you, you enunciate your art, uh, we'll give you a chance to explain. We'll ask that you limit it to about 10 minutes per session or per, um, per presentation. Um, of course, if it's shorter, Maximum that's okay. Maximum 10 minutes. Maximum 10 minutes, yes, please. Just so yeah, that we like... get everyone a chance and also keep, keep uh, our time um, nice and tight. So um, we have two artists who are ready to uh, get their tongues rolling on, on our side here. We have uh, Namanta Devi and we have Bhattan Devi who would like to uh, share some poetry with you. Dear Strong Soul, Dear Strong Soul, Spirit matters more than matter matters because seasons change, the body changes, but you are not the body. You're an eternal soul and the, sto and the soul stays the same. Did you know that? Of seasons, God is the flower bearing spring so blossom. You bloom. Let the scent of the spring season haunt your senses and fill you with memories of a bygone time in a paradise filled with wish-fulfilling desire trees. Where love is not tainted by the dust, of lust and where dancing is eternal. Laugh because you almost sold your soul for an empty 86 cent request to stay and not be drained. This journey is eternal. No matter what price you pay, you can be sure you'll get your change. Change isn't easy and nobody said it would be. Did you know that the soul is eternal and can't be drained or slain? So why worry?
Let the directionless one dance some sense to the senseless one and cry if you must, but feel blessed to have come to see the nature of the material nature with which you've been dealing. When the sunshine breaks through the clouds, when the sunshine breaks through the rain clouds and clarity breaks through your tears, blessed is the feeling. Cry if you must, as long as you must, because tears are water and God is the taste in water. And when flowers grow, that is where water flows. When water flows, that is where flowers grow. So cry if you must, because God is the taste in water. Blossom. Laugh and cherish those lessons of humor. Let the scent of the spring season haunt your senses and fill you with memories of a bygone time in a paradise filled with wish-fulfilling desire trees, where love is not tainted by the dust of lust and where dancing is eternal. Um, testing, testing, 108, is this thing on? So everybody, that was Vasanti Devi Dasi. I think that was that deserved a round of applause. Although we're all muted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not muted. Oh, uh, what happened? Uh, oh no. Thank you, Vasanti. That was awesome. Okay. So is uh, everyone still tuned in? Okay, so next up next we have uh, Namanta. Namanta Devi Das is also going to share us, uh, I think, a poem or two. Um, or three. So okay, here we go. Namanta. Hare Krishna. So, uh, I don't know if we can see me for this stuff. Hare Krishna. Um, wow, uh, that was so beautiful. Uh, Vasanti and so smooth and beautiful. <laughs> and um, okay, I have a couple of poems. Um, a little harder, and by that I mean, um, well, I, I'll just say it, and and you'll hear. So, where do we look to for truth in a world of lies, or otherwise, at least, so many possibilities, past and present, and those still unfolding those that we hold and those on the ground, those that resound throughout history, those that are bound, those found, those told, and those that are sold, the ones that are funded and bought, the ones we are taught, the ones we resort to when nothing else makes any sense. What is accidental, natural, and what has been planned in a world where most everything is manufactured or eventually somehow used? How is it fused and for whose ends while they pretend they defend our interests? What is the purpose of this? And what is the truth in a world of lies? Where can we find it when the lines are blurred even between the demonic and the divine? The uh, second. Breathe, breathe, straighten up, read. Go back to Arjuna on the battlefield. Remember his dilemma. Warrior in the midst of a necessary war and yet reluctant to fight. Resolved to resign his life rather than to defend even the righteous if it meant offending the enemy. Overcome with compassion and concern for good and evil alike. Noble but misguided by his religiosity. Notice how we've been caught in the same position, torn, be torn between what we are and what we let ourselves be. Dictated by the values of society, our own insecurities and our sentiments silent and withdrawn while lies rage on and truth falls by the wayside. An hour for Arjuna has taken several years for me, but convinced of his duty, he did eventually fight. It's time to pick up my weapon and write. Um, two last ones. Um, I 
I'm living in this world of sin. Okay, this one, this one is, um, okay, I'll say, dear friend. It's not good. Dear friend, I'm living in this world of sin in my body and its skin and all the things that hold so much strength and significance here. I'm acutely aware of it, incarcerated in its grip, but resolved to engage this in some higher purpose. And more importantly, I know your wish for me, transcendence beyond all conditioning, all illusory and relative reality towards the original identity as spirit, a part of the absolute, truth, joyful and free, a personality, an eternity in his abode. I'm holding this in my heart. Final one. Um, Uh, this was I, this I started writing today, and um, not quite finished, but uh, it end, it ends at a sort of understandable place. So I'll go until it's incredible the power of spiritual energy. Those moments I get an inkling of a glimpse of it, the sudden surges of something I guess I could liken to what one might call transcendental emotion and impetus. It has to be stemming from and spurred by mercy and the grace of being engaged in some kind of service to the Lord and his devotees, something sublime, some divine purpose. In those split second moments of pure sincerity that are like 10,000 years in significance to the eyes of the Most High, compared to the lifetimes we've spent in material oblivion. And when we take those moments to offer our most heartfelt obeisances and say our prayer, I could live on those moments, the confirmation and the hope they bring of higher things than the ones we tend to get so caught up in. Spending the rest of our time drudging through the motions of material existence, the concerns of a world that deems the spiritual secondary to what they call reality, only a means to mundane dreams, thus adulterated and otherwise considered insignificant, even ridiculous not realizing nothing has any meaning exclusive of the truth unless illusory. That the relativities we hold so dear and base our lives on have their essence only and entirely in their relation to the absolute. That absolute is, and that it is the source, the substance and the aspiration of our very being. Wow. Thank you to Namanta and Vasanti for uh, sharing their perspective of bhakti. I don't think those poems need any explanations. They were quite to the point, eh? Also, guys, All check right. out the chat group because people are responding and you can see what um, touched people in your poems. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. That I can see right now. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Seeing that we just had two uh, lyrical um, pieces, I was wondering maybe we could go visual for now. And uh, I know we have Tulsi and then we have Havisha. Would you guys like to share with us? Tulsi and Havisha. So have you, have you worked with Zoom? You know how to share your screen or you have your pieces with you, however you'd like to do it. Would you like to go first, Tulsi? Um, yeah, sure. Um, so I just got told about this an hour ago, so I didn't actually plan much. But um, can everybody hear me? <laughs> yes, we can hear. I can yep. hear you. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So um, my art journey has been in line with my passion and um, my talents, I guess. Uh, so what I do is I make curings. So this is you guys can you see there so i make little cow curing for um and magnets as well and i make them for cow sanctuaries or goshalas and yeah so that's basically what i do that's what i focus on i do a lot of other things like draw and paint but specifically this has been what i've um well been most passionate about um protecting cows and eventually one day i would like to have my own farm and protect a couple of cows of my own as well. So that's basically how I started from home. 
with like what I have. And yeah, it just that's basically what I do. Wow. Thank you so much, yeah. Tulsi. That's <laughs> I, I, I I'd like to say that 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 that, that kind of art is, is quite deep in that it um it's got a it's got a direct tangible experiential um reward to it. You you want to see you, you know the cows be protected and you actively raising awareness, raising funds. That's a very nice initiative to use your art in. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you. I want to see them again. Was it available? <laughs> It was a close-up. Yeah. yeah. I do send them to go shoppers, um, at like the Peter Marisburg one. And oh, okay. also like wherever, like I send as many as I can to whichever go shout out or house sanctuary they are. Can you guys see them? You know what you need to is probably take a photo of them and post it on yeah, the group. Yeah, and I'll post it on the group. Yeah, and then I'll do that. And I can send it around to them. I can attest to Tulsi, she makes these by hand. I've seen her make them by hand. So intricate. Yeah. So what oh, I do is I make my own clay and then I make my, I dye the colors and then I make each one. It takes a lot of time. It took me three years to perfect what I actually wanted. Wow. Yeah. But I've been Dedication. doing it for long and I guess I never get tired of it because I love cows so much. <laughs> yeah. Oh girl, way to go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. Okay. So thank you so much, Tulsi, for sharing this. Thank and, uh, you. All, yeah. all the best with your uh, future, future engagements, and uh, of course, we'll definitely be seeing you more often around, and uh, hope to engage more in in these ways. Hare Krishna. Then, uh, Salona asked if she makes uh, cow earrings. Yeah. You I do. do. I do. I love earrings. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I actually have some here. Yeah, I also make um, juggernaut earrings. So for yeah. a theatre and stuff, they like perfect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my wallet. I love juggernaut. <laughs> Thank you. Got you. Own, you got our own. got own homemade uh, homemaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks so much, Susie. Thank so, you. So um, we'll be, we'll ask uh, Havisha now. I think Havisha, are you, are you ready? Yeah. Um, so I was supposed to do this on my computer, but for some reason it wasn't working, but I'm going to attempt to share it directly. I, I did see some kind of option like that. So let's try it out. It's a little green box at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. D can everyone see that? I can see it. Okay. Oh, cool. Um. So I'm not like the. I can see it. Okay. Okay. You all can see it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not like the best artist, but. I do try to like tell a story or pass on a message with my artwork. Um, so today I'll be telling you about three of my pieces, just three simple ones. Um, so this first one is charcoal on paper, just um, if you want to know like the medium. Um, and it's a picture of Japa Mala or meditation beads with an anchor. So like just a background for those of you who may not be so familiar with me, um, generally, I meditate on God's names and qualities with my beads. And I personally feel that this creates a steady grounding for my life, like an anchor. Um, so, yeah, in a nutshell, like the meditation on this piece is that, you know, my meditation keeps me from falling into the abyss amidst all the chaos and anxiety and confusion. So that's basically what this piece is about. Um, you guys are all still there. I can't see you anymore, so. We are. Hello? Here. Here. Okay. Okay, cool. So, um, okay, cool. So now I'm going to share the next piece that I have. Um, okay.
so um, can everyone see that? Yep, I can see that. It's beautiful. Can you see that? Okay. So this piece, um, the medium is watercolors and charcoal on paper. Um, so um, it's basically a picture of a lamp sitting on dark gray clouds. Uh, dark gray clouds, sorry. So like no matter how dark skies may get, the sun is never engulfed by this darkness. Um, its light always remains steady. So um, like we see many, many spiritual practices involve like the lighting of a lamp or a candle um, accompanied by prayer. So this artwork depicts the bright hope and steadiness that prayer brings, even when everything else seems so dark. So that's what this one is about. Everyone, cool. Okay. That is good. Go? Okay. And then the last one is... Okay. Okay, so everyone, can you see this last one? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So yes. the last okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so this last piece um is also watercolors, just watercolors on paper. And it was actually called the spiritual or miniature journey. Um so you can see that there's a lotus flower, and this lotus flower houses a small community of miniature people. That's like the story going on in this picture. And the people in that community have only known life in its petals, but they are they are missing out on experiencing more. Um, their experiences are limited by what they currently perceive and know. So a few of them leave the lotus to explore the rest of the world. As you can see um, there in that last petal with the waterfall, there's a little man inside and a man jumping over and then a man already at the bottom or a lady, whatever. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. So although it's daunting going out into that vast expanse of water, this could be like a pond or a lake or even the ocean, even though lotuses are generally not really in the ocean, but basically like this huge body of water. Um, although it's daunting to like, you know, leave that um, what you know, that the security of what you know. It's the only way to find the complete, um, to, com to find complete knowledge and truth. So here they are literally taking a leap of faith. And um, yeah, I wanted to share that because, yeah, Jagat Tananda <laughs> thought it was a water park or a theme park, but yeah, it was meant to be a community. I guess I could have added more parts of the community, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, so by them leaving, they are literally taking this leap of faith. They're jumping out of the petals into the water. And um, faith and bhakti, also known as love, go hand in hand. So um, that's basically what's happening in this uh, picture. And um, a lotus flower was specifically chosen as a focal point because it's a symbol of spirituality in many cultures. So yeah, that's the story with this last artwork. And yeah, that's all I have. I don't know if anyone has any questions, maybe about the art or anything like that. Well done, well <laughs> done. Thank you. Okay, that was incredible. I had no idea you could draw like that. <laughs> I think uh, we should, um, oh, sorry, does somebody have a comment? Sorry. So I think we were reading Teachings of Queen Kunti yesterday. Uh, I can get the reference just now, but uh, they were saying that we should swim in the lotus petal across uh, the ocean. But I'll, let me get the reference and then I'll, I'll post it. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that's what inspired me when, when you showed your artwork. It's really beautiful. Thank you. Jaga, I think why not go for some some vibes now, some music. Waiting for the Julian to do his thing. How's it, Jill? <laughs> Sorry, I had my mic on mute. 
I was, saying, um, I was hoping to ask some of our musicians if they would like to take the floor now. Um, I see we have uh, Brock Jake all the way from the UK. And uh, Jake, I just met uh, today. I, I got I got his contact details from Rukmini. I just I messaged him and he so willingly uh, decided he'd like to join. So thank you so much, Jake, for uh, kindly agreeing to, to be with us this evening. Would you like to share with us what you'd like to do this evening and uh, go for it? It looks like Julian's about to play. I was about to get ready for him, you know? <laughs> I don't mind. All right. How's it? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can sing and then, and then I'll maybe I'll do after because you, you look ready for the mic and everything. I was getting ready for it. So. All right, sweet you. Um, hey guys. Julian so. Is ready. Yeah, I've just been working on this. How's it, everyone? Happy COVID, and it's good to see everybody again. <laughs> really bummed that we couldn't be together for the Easter weekend. But uh, here we are. It's back to class. So this song is by Rob Palmer. It's called uh, Every Kind of People. Make the world go around. 
Takes every kind of people to make what life's about. Takes every kind of people to make the world go out. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so that was the track today. <laughs> wow. Really, uh, the new one. Thank you. I miss that voice so much. <laughs> <laughs> Takes me back to the festival. Yeah. Thank you, Julian. On your pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, Jules, man. That was, that was so sweet, man. That was, like, so smooth. Shot. Mm. Shot, shot, shot. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Jake, I've, got, I've, got, I've got my doggy here with me sitting here. Yeah, know. Your? Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm wondering who was doing the chorus there. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm <was a> Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Jagger, wait, are you still here, Jagger? Okay, yeah, you're there. Yeah, uh, are we heading over to Jake now? Hi, guys. This is the first time we're seeing Jake, and we're so grateful that you just like jumped on board. <laughs> and nice. we're, yeah. Cool. Uh, thanks for contacting me. It's good to be part of this. It's really cool. I'm here in the UK, um, but this is such a nice community of people sharing their art and creativity. Um, so I'm going to do a song, it's like a, a rap song, um, and it's called Krishna Rap. So, you know, mine's pretty direct in terms of, <laughs> like, it's called Krishna Rap. So obviously bhakti means devotion, and the ideal object of devotion is Krishna. So this is, yeah, just a song glorifying Krishna, called Krishna Rap. And, um, it's just really cool that we're sharing this because it's really easy to spiritualize your art, right? Like mm. you just you just add add the spiritual element to what you do. And so I used to, you know, sample tracks and make beats and then, you know, write raps to them. And now I like sample kind of classic bhakti songs. So the song I sampled is a uh, Govinda Mari Pusham. Yeah, someone wrote already. So. So, you know, to sample a classic song and then do, make it into something new is like classic hip hop. So, anyway, so I'll play it now, yeah? Okay, I hope you can hear everything right. You can hear it, yeah, the music? See, we're not these bodies and we're not these. Minds where spirit souls part and parcel of the divine, the sublime and eternally full of bliss and knowledge. There's no need for you to really even go to college because it's already there. But does anybody care when we're on hurry arm? The people are like, yeah, what is this weird stuff? Not understanding his love, but they got their guards up. They're too hard to touch. They're trapped in illusion, wrapped in confusion. What can we really do for them but speak your name? My whole life turned around and now I'm lying on the ground trying to serve you instead of seeking material fame. I drop down like a stick in front of you, Lord. The loud sound resounds every time I hit the floor. It's going down my push on, but we're flipping the track. And I'm about to do a Krishna rap. I'm about to do a Krishna rap. <laughs> Yo. Look, said I'm about to do a Krishna rap. Uh, some people know the song already. I right, cool. said I'm about to do a Krishna rap. Yo. Said I'm about to do a Krishna rap. In this age that we're in, I pray for the sins of the proud mind inside the body I'm living in, trying to brace myself to face myself. This whole process is helping me become a man. I hope that I can, Lord Krishna, I miss you. I'm sorry that I turned my back on you, but now I know what I have to do to get back to you. Even if it takes many more lives, I'm not living with any more lies. This time I'm going to thrive, not merely survive. I know truly the problem, God's words will make me wise. 
I drop down like a stick in front of him too and give thanks to my guru for delivering truth. This useless body, use for useless folly is now rooted in devotion, a beautiful ocean. This is more than a hobby your religion to follow. It's the eternal occupation of the soul and soul. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram, Ram. Let's sing along to this bit. Said I'm about to do a Krishna rap. <laughs> you can dance as well. <laughs> and in the song, it has some nice songs of Srila Prabhupada as well. And I just love the original this in the Mari Pusha. One more verse, look. To the living entity, this Maha Mantra is very deep, you want to be free, are you ready to let go? When I'm hollow, I'll know, I won't wallow, I'll go, I'll just swallow some hope and I'll follow the flow. As the real me for once, not putting on a show, from Vrindavan to Walthamstow to Soho, to the people of the world, I just want to let you know, this has changed my life. So how do you bow? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare So I was getting put off by looking at the people like, what is it? Said I'm about to do a Krishna rap. And I'm about to do a Krishna rap. So Hari Bow. Yeah, so that's it. Well done, well done. Oh, well, thank you guys. Wow. Hari, thank you. I'm really getting invited to Ratha Yatra, I think. Welcome to the Bhakti Cloud family. I can see this is going to be a long term relationship. <laughs> That's cool. I, I'm liking being part of it. And um, yeah, so thanks. I'm glad you liked it. The song is, is on YouTube, and there's like a dance competition going on with this song at the moment some devotees are do, doing like some dances like challenge to this song is kind of fun so maybe please you, send us the you link. Were dancing, why don't you do one yeah <laughs> send us the link and we can share it with our guys okay i'll send you the link after yeah yeah thank you oh thank you yeah thank you so much jake and um we're just gonna see who is who else is available here that had uh, that had asked to share something. Is Doctor Jade over here? Yes, I see Jade. Hey, Krishna, Jade. Hey, Krishna. Hare Krishna. Everyone's doing okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing good. <laughs> Happy to see you. Okay. Thank you so much to all of you amazing artists who have been uh, revealing your hearts to all of us. We've been reading uh, during this lockdown time. We've been reading uh, uh, negative instruction, and and one of the six uh, loving exchanges uh, that 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 is that is uh, written in in the negative instruction is is uh, uh, revealing one's heart uh, in confidence. And, and, and it's been so really nice to see how everyone is so confident uh, to, to reveal what they, uh, what they feel is so special to them within their hearts. Um, everybody has got their own unique, uh, unique contribution to the service of Krishna. And it is by this uh, unique contribution that, that, that uh, you will attract so many people of the world because everyone has their own likes and dislikes and 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 these 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 wonderful art forms that that, that you have all uh, so wonderfully presented uh, will touch somebody's heart uh, in 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 the world and 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 hopefully that person uh, will turn away from uh, the mistakes that they've done and 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 are doing and and will uh, become uh, one step closer to the to their true love to Krishna. So uh, I, I was gonna, uh, Jagananda Prabhu uh, so kindly asked me to sing a song. And uh, I was gonna sing a song called uh, Blue Boy. Ah. And this, this song is, uh, it, it was written a while ago, actually. It was, 
I was introduced to Krishna consciousness uh, through a, a musician friend of mine by the name of Aidan Hines. I'm sure you have all, uh, or at least some of you have heard of his name. Um, you can check him out, he's, he's online, uh, the Heinz brothers. Um, but he, he introduced me to, to, to Krishna consciousness uh, a few years ago. And um, it, wasn't such a, it wasn't such an easy thing for me to accept, I'll be honest. Uh, but he, he enticed me and he took me to, he, he came home one day and he said to me, Jake, uh, we're, going for, <laughs> we're going for lunch. So I said, okay, that's great, you know. Uh, I was hungry. I'd been out in the water all day surfing, and uh, I was I was starving. So he he said, "Okay, we're going we're going for lunch." So we drove about forty five minutes uh, to to a little or not so little uh, a place in Chatsworth. Now I had no idea uh, what this place was. I had no idea where we were going, uh, but but I just knew that we were going for lunch. So. We, 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 came, we came to, to this uh, extraordinary place. When I saw it, I, I just, I was bewildered. I had no idea what was going on. But it was actually Sri Sri Radha Radhanath Temple. And uh, we parked in the parking lot. And, and where we had parked, actually, where we had parked, somehow or other, he had parked in, in such a place that, that, that you could actually see straight into the actual temple and you could, t and you could see the deities. Now, I'm sure, if, if, if whoever's been there or whoever knows the temple, they know that if you stand in a specific spot in the, te in, in the parking lot of this temple, of the, of, the, of the temple, you can actually see straight onto the altar. And it was amazing because he parked right there. And, and I still I had no idea, you know, what we were doing here. It was just, it was, it was, uh, everything was still brand new to me. So anyway, we got out the car and, and we started walking inside the temple. Now, I saw all these shoes sitting outside and I was like, okay, well, I see we're going to take my shoes off. And, uh, and there was this, <laughs> this loud uh, uh, kirtan that was going on inside. And, and I, I mean, again, I, I, please believe me, dear devotees, I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea. So walking into the temple, there were, it was chaotic. I mean, from my eyes, it was chaos. There were people, there were devotees running around in circles, uh, Matajis were dancing all symmetrically and, and so nicely, and, and the Prabhus were completely, they were just like running around in circles and, and jumping up and down. And, and His Holiness uh, Kadama Kanana Maharaj was leading a kirtan. And I, I was just, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't fathom what was going on. I, could see, I saw the altar, the altar looked so, so far out, flowers everywhere, the smells, the incense, everything was just so, so intense for my senses. Anyway, so uh, Aiden, Aiden said, "Come, let's let's go. You know, let's go. Let's go and join it. This the, the kirtan." So I was kind of like a little bit hesitant, obviously, because I was new. I was still wearing shorts and a t-shirt, and I, cause I'd just come from the beach, and I was expected. I was expecting just to go for lunch. Anyway, so so we we were standing where the prabhus are standing, where the brahmacharis are standing, and and I was kind of like trying to, you know dance and you know just trying to fit into the whole thing and and the kirtan was really rocking you know and and Aiden was Aiden really he just jumped right in and he was going for it you know and 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 the next thing the next thing did is what happened was my I just felt this wet sweaty hand grab my arm and he just and it is this brahmacharya just pulled me into the circle that they were running around it I promise you it felt it felt literally like like if you can imagine standing on the side of a, of a raging river, right? Rainy season in India, say for example, and you're standing on the side of the Ganges and this river is flowing, right? And, 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 and somebody comes from behind you and pushes you from the back and you, and you just go into the water. And the next thing, the water just takes you. That's what it felt like. I just, I got, I like got pulled into the circle and, 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 and I was just like, okay, well, I'm here now and I'm just going to go. And we ran around in circles. It was the most incredible time I'd ever had. I felt so free. I felt so uh, at home. I felt so peaceful. I was still wondering where, where the lunch is, but it, it was amazing. It was truly amazing. So this song, The Blue Boy, is, 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 is about uh, this experience. So, so I'll sing it for you. It's, it's, uh, it was, like I said, it was written quite a while ago. Um, and some of you might 
might remember it, I, I would have sang it at, uh, at the Bhakti Cloud, at uh, Rath Yatra. Um, so, thank you very much. Asleep on a boat, drifting towards the sun. The mirror like ocean and the breathless sky merged into one. Nothing below and nothing above. Nothing all around. I awoke when the silence broke into the most. Magnificent sun. In the distance, my eyes could see a figure of blackish blue. I wasn't sure what I saw, so I stood up for a better view. The sound was so intoxicating So elegant, so true And there he was A young boy playing on his little legs crossed, right over left. His face wore an innocent smile. The silk cloth that girded his weight flowed with an artistic style. Complimenting his black hair like lotus petals, his eyes held a tiger's calm. Compassion stare.
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you to all of you that have organized this wonderful platform for all of us uh, aspiring artists and aspiring devotees to, to please one another and to please, to try our best to please our, our, our dearest, most Sri Sri Nitai Mai Puchandra, uh, uh, Lord Krishna. Yeah. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Jade always keeps singing and always um, um, tell us these amazing stories that you do. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Rukmi Mataji. I will. Thank you for your inspiration. Thanks, Jade. Thank you so much, Jade. Jaga. That was really, really good. That was really, really lovely. That was Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's what happens when you live in a temple. <laughs> so um, we have um, Smita Krishna Prabhu, who is a university lecturer, but also a poet of renown. And uh, he'd also like to share one or two of his, um, his lyrical genius for us. So we'll uh, allow Smita Krishna to take the floor. And then after that, maybe Rasastali can, Rasastali wants to share something as well. So after Smita Krishna, Rasastali can go ahead. Okay. Thank you so much for inviting me to this platform. Avisha, my Zoom guru is here. <laughs> he taught me to do this. I've been following some of your stuff on Facebook. Salona, you're writing some beautiful things. And uh, I've seen uh, other Facebook posts. I've seen Namanta's writing. So it was really, really wonderful to see the thinking of Krishna every day and inspiring so many people. But uh, by following Facebook, you know, we also see the other parts of what people post <laughs> and, and not necessarily in the devotional field. So. By following that, then I, I, I was inspired to write this little poem. <clears throat> and uh, here it goes. I did post it on Facebook, but I kind of adapted a bit. If you've been chanting virus more than the holy name, is it the media or ourselves to blame? The mind boggles with news and official statistics, conspiracy theories and mental gymnastics, distractions on Facebook, WhatsApp and Zoom. So much news of doom and gloom. Even so many exchanges not so sweet. Unfortunately, some really offensive tweets. Someone asked, what will you do when the government lifts the curfew? Answers I saw of wine, women, and song, still doing the same thing all along. Thoughts and actions of disgrace, by choice so far from God's grace. Better focus on scriptural analysis to move us from material paralysis. He reminds us death is always near. Love that blue boy and have no fear. Therefore the nect nectarian kirtan let us hear. Always bhakti in our hearts hold dear. And then whether living or at your end, all the mundane we will transcend. And in that self-effulgent eternal place, Return to the bosom of Krishna's loving embrace in that spiritual original fraternal. Clasped in his arms, we will dance eternal. That's my poem. Done. Thank you. You can thank you. You can tell the learnedness of those words. Some of them I can't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much, Smita Krishna Prabhu. That was really nice. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll pass it over to Rasa Stali. 
And after Rasastali, I think uh, Mukundangri is going to share um, one of his, his art pieces with us, one or two of his art pieces with us. So stay tuned. I just want to say this is Rasastali's first Bhakti Cloud. It took Corona for her to come. Because <laughs> she's always in the dramas <laughs> during her theatre. So welcome. Oh, um, hi, everybody. Um, so I actually didn't have anything to write, but of course, Rukmini just bullies me all the time. So um, I, I wrote this for Hare Krishna News um, as my editor's note, and she just felt it was, and Mukundangri also felt it was poetic enough to present on this platform. So here goes. It will be in the May-June issue of Hare Krishna News. I can't wait to get back to normal. Bhagavad Gita describes that there are 8,400,000 species of life in the material creation. Not all are found on this earth planet, but if you consider all orga organisms, the earth hosts a good few million of those species. I can't wait to get back to normal. I have a bond, car payments, education fees, insurance, credit, Scary times. We may feel that the wheel of our revered lives, lifestyle have been steamrolled by a juggernaut. A juggernaut is a huge, powerful, and overwhelming force. People are becoming desperate. The atmosphere is heavy and domestic abuse is up. I can't wait to get back to normal. Have you seen the turtles on the Mumbai beach? The herds of deer in Yosemite? Dolphins riding the Durban beach waves. I can't get back to normal. For whom? The one species who is singularly responsible for every other species to go into hiding? The Shastra sta states, this human life is to awaken our true selves, to make our way back to what is truly normal for the soul. I can't wait to get back to normal. Will Lord Jagannath, the true Jagannath, Will fill us. I, you dear reader and Zoom fellow Zoomers, and every living entity within this creation is Satchit Ananda, eternally free from disease and death, full of knowledge, no uncertainty about the future, and full of bliss and overflowing of pure joy. Let's get back to normal. Hare Krishna. Oh, this is wow! Very nice. Yeah, food for thought. Free verse poetry, free verse prose. Cool. Meant to be an editor's note. Thanks, Hare Krishna. It'll be mm. there. Yeah. Uh, uh, before um, we move on, Jagad, if you don't mind, Namanta, hello. <laughs> So uh, just, uh, it's such an uh, amazing art platform and uh, it wouldn't be right if I leave without saying it, but I'm always looking for cover artists. Uh, Gita Gamya, who was here a while ago, she's done stuff and quite a few of you, Namanta, Cecil, uh, um, Surabi's painting has also been on Hare Krishna. Yeah. So, so uh, just an open invitation, if you're interested in getting your art up, uh, on Hare Krishna News, just drop me a line. You can contact Rukmini, how to email me. And um, we also allow local devotees especially to offer writing. So that invitation is also open. And uh, musicians and actors and um, martial artists, then Bhakti Theatre. So if you want to get to me, go to Rukmini and she'll point you in the right direction. My, my, my secretary. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. This is not the platform for me to say my comments, so I withdraw. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rasa for the wise and mature words. And uh, I think we're going to close with Mukundang, who will, uh, oh. I'm sure is giving, giving us his uh, a bit of an artistic piece, he has a painting or a picture. Mm -hmm. 
Hey Ball, how's everyone? Uh, okay. Can't we see you? Can't we see you? Can't we see me? you? Yeah. Why do you want to see me? Hey. There you go. What's up? How are you guys doing? Okay, I'm gonna share my screen so that you can all see photos. There we go. All right, can everyone see that? Um, Watch it. We can see everyone this. see? Is the whole thing on, on, on screen? No. No. Um, mm -mm. Okay, wait, let me do that. Okay. Mm. Um, uh, share screen. And we can. Yeah, sorry, just give me a sec. Okay. Can everyone? Uh... Almost got it there. Almost. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you can just hold up the originals, Mukundangri. You can sing in the middle. Can you everyone can see that? Oh, we can see it yeah, now. We can see it. Oh, I love this one. It's right. my favorite. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, I, I've done a few works. I've been so I'm a writer. I think if I was to quote unquote categorize my art form, um, I've been journaling since I was 13, almost every day since I was 13. Um, and during this lockdown, I I just wanted to investigate a new medium. And on top of investigating a new medium, which is watercolor, I wanted to explore some emotions about the world right now and what I'm feeling inside. So this first piece is called um, All Life Matters, um, a play on another All Something Matters slogan. But this is the meaning of it. Um, making compassion part of our daily diet. It's a crazy idea, but it might promote physical and spiritual health, protect animals and the environment, and perhaps reduce the likelihood of a global public health crisis. I don't know, it's just a crazy idea. <laughs> so that's that one, all life matters. Um, the next piece I worked on is this one over here, which I... I actually quite like. This one is called Outer Change and Inner Steadiness. So it, it just revolves around one quote that I heard a few years ago uh, from Bhakti Chaitanya Maharaj. I was chanting Japa early morning in the, the Durban temple and Partha Sarthi Maharaj walked in and he asked Bhakti Chaitanya Maharaj, how are you? And Maharaj said, you know, so many things in this world may change, but our chanting of the holy name remains the same. So that's the meaning of that one, how to change an inner steadiness. And this one, I, I don't know, I was just like messing around, <laughs> but it came out the way it did. Um, the earth wasn't supposed to be there, but then it just appeared there. Um, so this one is called healing. And uh, obviously with the current global climate, I figured, you know, um, it's a time for renewal and mother earth is on a well-deserved vacation from us. So Rukmini actually said on, on Instagram about this one that um, it reminded her of the Ganges um, you know, cleansing the earth, basically, I think. <laughs> and the final one, and we'll end off on this one. This one I literally just painted about 30 minutes ago. I just finished 30 minutes ago, so I haven't posted this online. Um, this one is called Levity. And there's always moments of joy, of gratitude and of laughter, even amidst 
the most trying times. And I think that's what we're in now, a very trying time. But when we place our burdens at the feet of the Lord, we can have some, some levity. So that's Lord Vamanadev and he unburdened uh, Bali Maharaj from so much. Um, yeah, and from that, you know, he gained some levity. So we all have an opportunity to laugh, to, to sing, to dance, simply by placing our head at the Lord's feet, you know, we'll be unburdened. So yeah, that's my heart, people. Can I say something? I just, I love the expression on Vamana's face. It's just so, um, like, light and, and yeah, freeing. So, yeah. I, I, I don't know. So, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I love that expression. It's, it's really nice. <laughs> Mukundangri, if you can please share it with um, Gorabumi, because she's currently working on a script on Vamana. I think it'll be cool. Oh, yeah, cool. No problem. Wow, well, sure. new art form and budding artist there. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Nice, you. nice. So I think we're coming to the end of our night. Jaga, am I right? Have we missed anybody? Does anybody want to share something? Looking for my piece of paper here with names. So far, it seems we've had anything. So we've. I guess we've reached that um, that point in the program where we open it out to the the audience. This is the mm. open mic session, mm. and uh, if anyone would like to say anything, um, this is now the opportunity. You can just raise your hand, and the platform is yours. Mm. I see Tari. Tarun is over there. She's got a beautiful. Would you like to share some with us, Tarun Irade? Right. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Krishna. Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm busy cooking for the Lord. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry things off. But they've been listening to the shares and the stories. I got them to see your art. So I think that was just so special. And I have to say it's very overwhelming, actually, to just see the love for for lord and just how everyone has expressed it so um so freely because sometimes it's yeah you know like i know artists don't really always want to share their stuff because it's so vulnerable but um it really makes a difference in our lives the people who are watching and it helps the our devotional part as well so i just want to say thank you so much thank you thank you thank you oh. <laughs> thank you taruni thank you anybody else would like to share we have a few minutes for open mic no i have a few things while you're still thinking about it uh, yeah I've always wanted to like write every day, but I never really got down to it. But since I signed up on Instagram, which was very recent, it's been inspiring me to write some things. So this is just some, um, some sort of reflections on humility. Um, I'm also very scared to put it out there because there's always a trend that whenever I say something, Krishna tests it on me heavily. <laughs> but um, anyway. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to find the paper I wrote it on. So, yeah, the first one is, it's short stuff. It's just reflections, not really poetry, poetry. But the first one is, what doesn't kill me makes me humble. This one saves me from a lot. <laughs> uh, and the second one is, um, humility is not my benevolent acceptance of your inflated ego. It's honest vision. I get what I deserve. And the last one is, um, I humble easy when I chant feelingly. Yeah, that's what I wanted to share. 
So do we have any other open micers? Wow, thank you, Rukmini. Hare Krishna, it's uh, Kamil speaking. Can you hear me? We can hear you, Kamil. Um, so good evening to everyone. Um, I wasn't um, present at the beginning of the session uh, and disrupted throughout, but my observation from the first sessions earlier this morning, the afternoon session, which I was quite present for, and what that what bit that I did catch this evening is actually such a uh, privilege and an honor. And it's so sad, but at the same time, so grateful that this pandemic actually became a blessing in disguise in that it united so many of us from areas where we are literally kilometers apart. But my greatest benediction and benefit that I've taken in the past six hours of being exposed to this program is it links so many of us devotees through the digital medium to get each other's association from Cape Town, Joburg, outside of South Africa. And uh, I think that's, if we look at the essence of why we seek association, and especially under these times where it's not easily available, um, I really want to commend the team and I hope this becomes a monthly event even post the pandemic. Well, thank you so much. Uh, this is so last minute and like we just sort of throw it together, but definitely it's, it's a higher plan. I mean, seeing everybody here, I feel like, wow, like, you know, I get all like softy and I'm like, oh my word. <laughs> but like, it's, it's really, um, I think I'm, I'm realizing how much I've missed the festival of chariots how much I missed being with everybody. And this just is like a, a session of solace. So although it's a student retreat, but we don't have so many students here uh, in this forum, but I really feel like it's, it's so awesome to connect with everybody. And I'm grateful for that opportunity. Jaga? Hare Krishna. Yeah, this was um, a, a classic group meeting calls me some random time of the odd hour of the day jaga can you do this i need you drops the call sends me details five minutes later and uh so I, i'm i'm very privileged to have been engaged by, by rukmini in this way and um it's always a blessing working with her and working with the cloud team and of course everyone that that was that took part today i thank you so much i know i just messaged you all out of the blue and just thank you so much for agreeing to to just be a part of um part of this evening and uh, like Rukmini said yeah if we can make this uh, a regular event this would be such a such an uplifting and and engaging uh, platform for for devotees and non-devotees alike and and as a way to reach out um, so thank you so much um, mm. everyone for participating and uh, I hope this has brought some some light to to your lockdown period yeah uh, thank you thank you yeah Rukmini. yeah uh, from the time uh, Jagananda sent me a message about this, and then I'm really impressed with his organization and that poster is also so professional, you know, the way everything is yeah. done, all the speakers on the, it's really done well. So mm -hmm. the way that's good for you to have pushed him. And, <laughs> you know, that's the, my role in his life. <laughs> That's just my role in his life. <laughs> we do we hi guys. Um, can I just can I just say thank you? I missed you guys so 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 much over Easter. I was really, really looking forward to like coming to be in one of my favorite places in the whole wide world in South Africa, especially Turban. And just on the beach front. But it didn't happen, but you know, this is a time that we needed to just relax. Smitha, I loved your your poem. Everybody's I loved everybody's things. Tulsi and your cows and everybody's just everyone's <laughs> stuff. Um but yeah, and who's, who gave that last poem with not normal? Who was that? Rasa Stali. Yeah. Uh, that was that that was dope as well. I think everyone's like I'm doing a lot of exercise and just staying at home and you know, I imagine what, what everyone's doing in their temple. If, you got, if you're if you in the temple, 
if you're in a home, if you're in a flat, like the conditions are, are, are quite insane. I've been keeping sane by doing yoga and looking at my prayer beads in, in my room, doing my chanting sort of, but it was just a great reminder to me to that, like, uh, you know, I'm not bored. I, like, I'm staying with someone, we, we're not bored where we are because we, we're kind of keeping busy. But like people are, they just want to get back to that normality, which is, mm. we're not going to judge or anything, but it's, it's a little warped because there's so, there's so much more that we can be doing right now. And yeah, so just th thank you for this reminder, guys. It's always good mm. to be with the family. Um, a lovely group of people with open-mindedness and just, yeah, sharing their joy and their love. So thank you. Back to you. Send us something, like record something every weekly and send it to us. <laughs> yeah. On it's, your camera, it's, video camera. and uh -huh. uh -huh. yes, mm. I'm I'd being like specialized from, from oh. everywhere. Mm -hmm. I think I, to it's be honest, I enjoy, I enjoy physical surroundings much more than digital yeah so to me it's so to me it's this big disattachment and something i just need to get over as well because there's a lot of things that happen virtually right <laughs> or transcendentally or you know that so i need to get i need to get over that part of myself so yeah but thank you for this okay thank you julian it was nice to hear from you again um, a notice, if you want to catch some of the other sessions in the retreat, because the Bhakti Cloud session is just one of them, mm -hmm. uh, you can just uh, drop me a message and I'll, I'll register you. Uh, there's tons of things happening. It's an amazing lineup and um, it's, just, it's just so nice to get together and see everybody. So we're not going to, yeah, 822, so <laughs> true Bhakti Cloud style, we're late. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's Actually, there's a number of rush nice. for the play now. Run for the play. Okay, right, right, right. Let's go run for the play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And, and grab some snacks with Jaga on the way. <laughs> Where's the tea? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And get home before the rain starts. <laughs> <laughs> Catch the bus okay. before the bus leaves. <laughs> If you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the Festival of Chariots. It's like now we're really in-house, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jaga. Thank you, Namanta. Thank you for your sacrifice. I know what it you sacrifice, and I, I'm grateful. Um, and thank you, everybody. We'll catch Hare you Krishna. tomorrow. Same place. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Bye. Bye. Where is he?